This increase comes as thousands of people, of course, want to head off for the holiday weekend, Kim. And comes less than 24 hours after the governor shut bars back down. We want to get right to Dr. Frank McGeorge to help give us some context and also a report on another major development. Doc, though, let's start with those numbers. Well, Kim and Devin, you know, I've been watching the seven day moving average for the past couple of weeks, and there has definitely been a consistently increasing trend, specifically over the past two weeks. Honestly, I'd have to say today's larger increase is significant, and it really highlights how close we are to a real resurgence and how important it is for everyone to take precautions seriously, or frankly, the governor is going to be doing much more than rolling back the reopening of bars. Now, today's other major development is actually a study out of the Henry Ford Health System suggesting a benefit to hydroxychloroquine in treating COVID-19. Now, of course, this is after the FDA rescinded its emergency use authorization of the drug and the World Health Organization stopped evaluating the drug after an interim analysis did not find any benefit. Here's how Henry Ford's study fits into that backdrop. The study was published in the International Journal of Infectious Diseases. It looked retrospectively at over 2,500 patients treated in the Henry Ford Health System between March 10th and May 2nd. It broke them down into four groups. Those who received hydroxychloroquine, both hydroxychloroquine and azithromycin, azithromycin, and those who received neither. The study found 13% of those treated with hydroxychloroquine alone died, compared to 26.4% who were not treated with hydroxychloroquine. And what we think was important in our study is that, or in our patients, is that patients were treated early. And for hydroxychloroquine to have a benefit, it needs to be given before the patient suffers some of the severe immune reaction that can occur with, uh, with COVID. 82% of the Henry Ford patients who received hydroxychloroquine received it within 24 hours of admission and 91% within 48 hours. The researchers believe this is one reason for their different results. When different, uh, different studies have different results, it doesn't mean that it's entirely inconsistent. Differences in patient population, the timing of when the drug is given, the dosing of the drug, uh, these all can provide differing results. At Henry Ford, hydroxychloroquine was dosed at 400 milligrams for two doses, followed by 200 milligrams twice a day for an additional four days, a different dose than other studies. Now, because the emergency use authorization has been rescinded by the FDA, the researchers said hydroxychloroquine is not being used to treat patients in the Henry Ford health system. Now, going forward, they do believe it should be studied further. Yeah, Frank, I, I know you have talked about taking part in a hydroxychloroquine study at Henry Ford yourself. Is this study related to that one? No, that's actually the WIP COVID study. That's looking at prophylactic use of hydroxychloroquine, basically preventing you from becoming infected. And I actually finished taking my eight weeks of study medication quite a while ago, but they are still recruiting for that study. Important to note. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll see you for more news coming up a little later in the broadcast. Frank, thank you.